This is Kent at KJS Painting and Renovations, and this is how I do tile repair. Well, first off, I put down some tarps to protect the area that I'm working in. And there was some cleaning in here, and in the midst of cleaning, some tiles just came off. The idea is to just do the repairs, get this job done. There's some tenants in here. And this was not put on with a thin set mortar. This was put on with some mastic. It looks like they put this on. Maybe it was mastic in a tube. And it was put on here. And so the idea is to just do this repair. We don't want to open up a can of worms here. So doing a little exploring. Well, that one's going to come off. See, stuff like that, that's got to come off. So we'll take that one off. Wiggle, just a little wiggle. Okay, yeah, this, this didn't really work very well. So we're gonna take this one out too. Let's be really careful, kind of. And I recommend taking a putty knife that's, that's sharp, that's been used a lot. And sometimes I'll put a tiny bit more force on that edge and just kind of bit by bit just go like that, right? Same thing that upper edge, more force. Upper edge again. Maybe the whole thing. And this was done about 50 years ago, according to the homeowner. And I don't know what the guy used, or the gal used, but they they prepared this wood with something that seems to be like a really cementitious thing, but at the same time, you see it's dusty. So nothing sticks to dust, but that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, this stuff is coming right off. I mean, nothing's gonna stick to flaky, dusty stuff. So we gotta, name of the game is to get this clean. Good to go in both directions. Let's try one more brush. Anything that's loose, anything that's loose has got to come off. Like, like here's another thing, any loose grout, you know, you could just try, try to get it off. If it's on there, I'm just going to leave it there, you know, I'm not, somebody's going to say, yeah, take all that off of there. If it just comes off easy. Sure, I mean, some of it already it just fell off, you know, so. But anything that's loose, take it off, you know. It's not gonna be perfect here. Get this loose stuff off, see that? Anything like that. Again, like a dentist, you know, just careful. Anything that's loose is gonna come off. Okay, it's pretty clean now. And so here's this, this crosshatch technique. This also encourages any loose stuff to just kind of have the opportunity to come off. And then one more time with this. Other direction. Feels nice and rough. Starting to feel pretty good about this. So now I take a brush. It's an old paintbrush. I call this my penalty brush. And you can also go really fast, kind of create a lot of wind that will just sort of suck any dust out of here, you know, kind of. So why are we doing this, folks? Because nothing sticks to dust. I almost forgot. We're going to have to do the same procedure on the back of these. Where is it? Let's see. Uh, the tiles, right? This seems to work better using something like a uh, one of these fixed blade utility knives. Just you know, you, you really want to get the back of these tiles clean. I'm finding this utility knife works good, so I'm pretty happy with this now. And what, what I have here is a sponge, bucket of water, and just getting all the dust off of here, right? Okay. 
Same procedure on the back of the tiles, right? You want that to be dust free. That should be nice and clean. It feels a little toothy and that's what you want. So if you fit this one in, sort of fit it in, take a look at it. It's about where it's gonna go. If we look over here, right? You know, there's more of a gap here than, than up here, right? It's because the, the nose of the tile is kind of hitting this tile, you know, and this is not right, but this is what we're working with, right? So when we're putting thin set on here, the, the thin set's gonna be a little thicker here than it is up here. So I'm gonna make some thin set in a bucket. I'll show you the, the bag. I would have preferred if it was a lighter color because of the white grout. That's okay. Here's the trick. I use some of this stuff here. It's a concrete bonding adhesive. It says acrylic fortifier. Improves bonds to existing surfaces. A lot of folks are going to say it's already a, a fortified thin set. I have another video where I've done this. I stick tiles to a high gloss polished granite and they just don't come off. And so, um, but I add some of this stuff in there, right? I'll do like half this and half water, right? It should hang on the knife and the knife is vertical, right? It turns quick, so now I just use a sponge. It's starting to fall off. That's about what you want. Hang on the edge. You gotta let this sit for five minutes now. Let it slake for five minutes. After five minutes, stir it up again. And before the thin set, I have a damp sponge. Not real damp, but damp. And so, kind of get this wet. You know, get the back of the tile wet. So I'm just gonna load up my spreader. This tile's gonna go in like so, so alternatively, right? You can do a little back battering is what they call it. I could back batter this bottom bit, right? See how I put that on like that? You know, it's kind of like a scratch coat when you're doing stucco. And it looks like there was nothing, nothing in there, right? So maybe add a little bit more over here. So let's see if we can get this guy in there. Actually, that's not what you want. You should wear gloves doing this, folks. This stuff will stick and it's never gonna come off. So let's make sure we don't get this where we don't want it. And just check too, it's okay to check. You can pull it off, check, see how we're doing. The other guy didn't check. Look, it's not really, it's not really making the contact there. This is, this needs a little bit more, you know? Just a back batter this whole thing. Right. And you can kind of feel it, you know, now I'm, I'm getting it. Getting some good contact there. Also, you can see it's starting to come out over here. It's not a bad strategy to have a rag on the knife. I just didn't want to buy a huge bag of thin set for this little job. Otherwise I would have chose a light gray or white instead of this darker gray. Make sure it's sort of seated in there. That's where it was.
just a little bit more on the bottom of this one here. Let's see how this one does. I'm actually gonna pull back and check again. Oh God, yeah, that's good. You can, this is working. This is full contact right here. Yeah, we're making good contact. Bricklayers do this and they're setting the brick. They use the butt end of their trowel. Tap the brick a bit. Here's something new. This is a different tile. It's a little bit bigger, thicker, heavier. It didn't, you know, we didn't have enough and they had this. And so we're gonna use this, but since it's slightly smaller, it's not gonna hit that edge. So we're not gonna have to back batter that edge. We're just gonna go straight on. Again, I wet this down, a little bit of water. So here you don't want too much thin set, you know, because it really, you don't want it to stick up too high. I'm actually gonna try to get it in there. These are never gonna come off again. Try to get that line parallel. Got this one back battered, kind of well in board of the edge here. Cause the tile's like rocked out like that. So we got, that's why we're doing that. And you can feel it if it's really kissing on there. You know, yeah, that's good. This action really helps make it stick, you know. That noise you hear, it's that nose is touching that, that's, that's what you hear. Normally you wouldn't do this, but this is the way it was done, so. Gotta work with what we got, right? Right. Because of the way this is working out, I, I cut a, a tile more narrow, you know, it's like these tiles fell off and, and they broke. So I'm just making do, you know, I hardly have enough to do it. So it works out better that I just put a smaller tile right here. This is the most I could get out of the broken piece. Well, I put this tile up just temporarily because I'm going to have to cut one tile. And, and look how tight this job is. When these tiles fell off, they broke, right? And so that we have just barely enough to, to, to get this going before the tenants show up, you know? So I'm just going to take this tile, kind of put it over there about where I think is right, and maybe leave a little bit of a gap and then take the pencil, kind of leave a bit of a gap here for the grout, right? Just make a little mark. That's gonna be the cut. Let's check it again. It looks good. 
And I've got just a, like a masonry wheel here. I'm going to use this one. But I just didn't want to get out the tile saw with the diamond wheel and the water feed and all of that. So, you know, this is going to be hell on wheels. So I got eye protection, ear protection. Not using this. That might be better. But I'm going to use this. I got this down on this bit of cloth here to pat it so it won't break. Okay, let's see how this bad boy fits in here. Is it going to fit? It's definitely going to fit. Oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that. Talk about it. So it's the second day. It's been 24 hours, and so now the tape is going to come off. So let's check this. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Good. Just clunk, thunk, thunk, thunk. That's what you want to hear. Okay, there's some other tiles here, right? It's not my job. Listen to this. Compared to this. Listen to that. Check these tiles. You hear that? That's what you don't want to hear. We got a time constraint. Tenants coming. We're not going to fix these. I might be back to do that later. So we're using this unsanded, non-sanded grout. You can because of these. It's a non-sanded grout, and you can usually tell when you've got these tiny little tiny little uh, eighth inch grout lines. So go for unsanded. How much are we gonna need? Probably not a whole lot, but we'll start like this. Somebody's gonna say, you don't need to do this, but you know, I'm adding some of this in here. Uh, again, because it says it's fortified already, but I know if I add some of this in here, I mean, this, this will never come out. This, this tile needs all the help it can get. Okay, now we add some water. So essentially you mix for two or three minutes. It has, there's, there's instructions here. You let it sit for five and then, and then you're good to go. So and I'll show you the consistency, kind of similar to the thin set, you know, you kind of want it to hang on the trial. I'm going to show you something. In addition to doing this stuff here, I'm going to go the extra mile and in some of these areas that are not looking so hot, I'm going to go and just hit these two since I'm here and around here. And this is kind of the idea here. The corners are a little bit tough, but that little motion kind of gets some in there. Just kind of really work it in there. Working on that little corner on the bottom there. And you know, it's pretty simple. Just kind of go at it, but really try to work it in there, you know. It's good to go both directions, a little hard on this side. 
We'll even get some on the bottom here. That wasn't done before, but this could use all the help it could get, right? Okay. You say to go at a 45 degree angle. Here's that tile that was bigger. We had to use it. Nothing's perfect. Always constraints. You can sort of tell when it's when it's getting full. It doesn't the crack won't take anymore. So now I'm going to go into cleanup mode, get this a little cleaner, sort of scrape it a little more clean, get it cleaned off a bit, just try to get some of this off of here. Kind of scrape it off again. Could use this tool, it's got a scraping edge on it too. In about 10 or 20 minutes, the, the grout will start to get to be firm. So we want to wait for about that much time. But you know, while we're at it, you know, stuff like this, if we, as long as we stay away from the grout lines, we could take a, a sponge, kind of newish sponge. And, you know, kind of the sooner the better to get some of this off. You know, in the corner here, uh, it's, it's okay to use your finger. I mean, you should have a glove, you know. Rinse the sponge a lot, change the water sometimes. Make sure that sponge is like good and dry. It's a lot easier to get it when it's still kind of wet. It starts to dry, it gets, gets to be difficult. And then you gotta use muscle instead of skill. So kind of be timely. The trick is to, to clear the sponge frequently. Truth be told, I couldn't find my normal sponge. So what I have is this. It's better if you have this, you know, and a new one, and, uh, and then you can use both sides and it goes a little quicker. So this part of the job can be a little time consuming. So it's good to be patient and just take your time. Always rinsing that sponge a lot. I, mean, I do take it back about this side. Every now and then it's kind of nice. I find uh, in some spots where over here, some stuff starts to get a little bit dry. It's not bad to use a bit of a gritty part to get some of that off a little faster. It's really important to clean this stuff off, you know, because once it dries on there, it's really hard to get off. Always rinsing this sponge. So here are the tiles that are replaced. You know, it should start to look like this. You want to get that little, really want to get these tiles clean. And uh, like that's an example of what you don't want, you know, that's got to come off. So these tiles are starting to get cleaned up, a little more cleaning to do. And that's looking better, that extra mile over here did that. So now after when this is all done, you got to wait, uh, when this is all done, you got to wait a couple of hours and then come back and hit this with just a, a nice dry, clean, clean cotton towel t-shirt is a good one and just kind of buff, buff the haze off of it. And then, and that would finish this job. For the sake of not making this video too long, you know, I'm not going to show you the buffing. You guys can do that. This has been Kent at KJS Painting and Renovations. This is how I repair tiles. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you if you're taking the job on. If not, you can give me a call. That's right. And um, please like and subscribe. Helps me get business. And uh, 
yeah, I wish you guys out there uh, excellent, fun uh, projects. Okay, bye-bye.